What is good, boys? We got another absolutely stacked card coming up this weekend, and it's going to be back. You know, whenever there's a, a break in the UFC action, it's uh, it's tough without the meat, boys. So good to be back. And way to start things off right here with Joaquin Buckley, a.k.a. New Manson, taking on Antonio Ahoyo. And I'll tell you what, Buckley was looking pretty good. He's absolutely flatlined Impa Kasanganai, one of the most viral uh, kicks that we'll ever see. And truly spectacular. And then he came back against, uh, you know, the, the Beverly Hills Ninja, Jordan Wright, and had another impressive performance then. But it was most recently when, unfortunately, we meatlocked him. Not too much success. And he got absolutely head kicked by Alessio DiCirico. It was in the first round. And uh, just a fascinating turn of events to see him uh, go down with a leg kick similar to one that he's finished his opponents with. And it looks as though he could have a nice layup here as... He's minus 200, 12 and 4, taking on Antonio Ahoyo, who is 9 and 4, coming in as a plus 170 dog, and is a guy who just hasn't had much success in the UFC. I mean, he got absolutely smashed by Andre Muniz, who uh, who knows what his ceiling is. He's looking pretty good these days. And then he got absolutely, you know, taken taken down and just uh, taken out by Dur Duran Wynn. So that one was kind of concerning. What are your thoughts on this one? Is this going to be a, a rebound layup for New Mansa, or uh, is Ahoyo going to find a way to get this one done? Yeah, this is a good fight. I feel like this is a solid, um, you know, comeback fight for Buckley. Um, this is definitely a tough test, but uh, I, I think he's going to get it done. Um, it, it wouldn't surprise if he gets a knockout, but I could see this going to the decision, to be honest. I don't know if I'm that bullish like Tapology is, 89% majority knockout. Um, and I, I think people are just really on this Buckley train with that kick. Like people, that's all they know him by. That's what they think he's like the the best and they think he knocks out everyone but it's like he he definitely still has a lot to grow i would say but i'm bullish on him i think he's strong and a good fighter and i think he's only getting better and hopefully he learned from that last loss which still can't believe he lost to that guy because that guy got absolutely smashed the last fight uh which is kind of ironic but yeah 27 years old versus 32 year old uh yeah i gotta go with buckley ko third round very nice, yeah, and he is the younger guy, and uh, you know he he's two and two in the UFC, and his only other loss is to Kevin Holland. He he got stopped by him as well, and you know we have seen Buckley have you know kind of some chin issues, but Antonio Rowe is not much of a striker. He he's going to win likely by decision if he does beat you or by submission. Uh, are you worried at all about what this uh, fight might look like if it hits the mat? Because I do think that Antonio Hoyo is going to want to implement some takedowns in this one, probably get his BJJ game going. Do you see it getting down there at all? And if so, any concerns? Yeah, I, I could see that. I mean, uh, Antonio, he, he is the, the longer, lankier guy. I mean, he's 6'3", bigger legs. The reach isn't a longer, you know, but, you know, he still has that height, which if you if he's a better jujitsu it, it does help a lot having big long legs to really wrap around and throw in those techniques and submission so it'll be interesting if it hits the mat because uh, yeah we've never really seen buckley on his jujitsu or wrestling game uh but yeah hopefully it doesn't go there i would say it i don't know if it'd look too good for him yeah i tend to be uh in agreement with that and I, like you i'm gonna be rolling with buckley in this one i think he can grind out a decision maybe find a way to uh impressively stop antonio ahoyo but uh, i think this is a fight that he should be able to win uh maybe you know turn the corner rebound from that recent loss because i mean it, those are no easy outs kevin holland is a, is a tough fight and although lesio de Kirico just went out a couple weeks ago He's a guy with a lot of UFC wins and experience as well. So uh, going with Buckley in this one, think he's going to find a way to get this one done over a uh, Hoyo. 89% of Tapology is rolling with us too. And as you mentioned, a majority of it is Brown. So we'll see if he can uh, find a way to get a finish in this one. But pretty stoked for this middleweight contest. Any last uh, thoughts on this one, Meet? No, yeah, definitely a fun one. Um, yeah, if you guys are bullish on the knockout, definitely check those numbers out. Um... But yeah, this will be a very fun fight. Yo, boys, check out other videos. Make sure to subscribe, like, throw in the comments, you know, who you guys got. Respond to all comments. We we love the engagement. And so reach out to the Meat Boys. We always respond. And uh, check out our other videos. Yo.